All right, so I forgot what this appetizer is called. It's beef something or other. And I will write it down here. We'll have it on there. But uh, And we also got the calamari, which Ashley's tearing into. I already tore into the beef. We're going to try these out. We'll give them some quick reviews right afterwards. Let's dig in. Micro greens. Fancy. <laughs> so we... We burned through these uh, appetizers. I mean, we we wolfed them. It's about two o'clock. We hadn't eaten all day, so um, first off, what were these called? The Shuso. You got the menu next to us. Let's oh let's gosh. actually find out what they are. Yeah. On the next one. Oh, one more page. There it is. Uh, this is what it was right here. Shuso Florel. Shuso Florel. And it is uh, beef tenderloin, cream cheese, asparagus in a tempura. It's shiso leaf. I can't even read that word. Tugarashi spice with pounded ginger sauce. Ooh, That's the flavor we're getting. Sauce. Yeah, it's a very earthy flavor. It's very good. The cream cheese mixed with the beef and the asparagus. I thought was amazing. I love this appetizer. It was uh, $12. Gail, what'd you think of it? Yummy. Uh, how about you? What did you think of it? I liked it. You liked it? Wow, y'all are just like, uh, and wow. It's like poetry the way you describe it. How about you? Uh, Ashley, you were on the other side of the fence. What did you think? I just didn't like the flavor of the sauce too much. You don't like, well, you're not a big fan of ginger. So this isn't going to be your thing if you're a fan of ginger. Can I take some of these plates out of the way here for you? Did yep. you keep your knife in just in case? Yes, Good to go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, then we had the calamari, and I I thought that was good. It was well flavored, and there was a spice to the sauce that came with it. So it ended up being pretty good. I still say the beef was the winner. I think Ashley disagrees. Do you just, what do you think, calamari or the beef, Gail? Well, I like them both. For different reasons. Yeah. Beef had the cheese and that was creamy and delish. But the calamari, that was good calamari. Okay. Calamari, that was good. They breaded it lightly. All right, good stuff. So I would get both of them again. Yeah. I would get. Okay. I would come in here just to get those. Two just things. to get those two things. <laughs> I don't think they would fill me up though. I'm not filled yet, but then again, we were really hungry. Next is the burgers. Alrighty, so I got the jalapeno sh popper showstopper. Here we got, which one did you get? I got the peanut butter and banana. You got the Elvis has left the building, I think it's called, right? I got the hunk of burn lovers. The hunk of burn, okay. It's smaller. It's the smaller version of it. All right, and that's got peanut butter and banana on it. Which one did you get? You got the blue without the app, the blue cheese one, right? This is the blue cheese one. Okay, yeah, we'll get the name of that in a little bit. And you got Texas Longhorn. Texas Longhorn, and that's got barbecue on it. What's it got on it? Uh, barbecue, some jalapeno bacon thing. I got the onions on the side because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted them or not. Uh -huh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Jamming the blues. Jamming the blues, and you got the uh, onion jam on the side. So there you go. All righty, we're going to dig in and we'll give our thoughts afterwards. First up is the burger I tried, the Jalapeno Popper Showstopper. It was $15 head. It was a beef patty, jalapeno-infused cream cheese, jalapeno bacon, fried jalapenos, jalapeno citrus aioli, lettuce, tomato. There were fried, uh, fresh sliced uh, jalapenos on a brioche bun. The bread was wrong for this sandwich. It was sweet. Uh, surprisingly enough, there's not enough heat on this sandwich. That kind of got me. I was like, wait a second. It's, it's, it's just very weird. You, you know, you want a little bit more uh, spice to a jalapeno burger, and it was completely missing here. Uh, the, I really do believe that it was a sweeter bread. It kind of messed up. The cream cheese with the, uh, with, with the jalapeno was good, but there, while there was jalapeno flavored, there just wasn't enough spice for me. I like this burger, don't get me wrong, but I also like spicy foods, and this just gives the flavor of spice without the heat. If you don't like spice, but you do like jalapeno flavoring, by all means, 
I think this is awesome for you. Uh, either way, I would get it again, but I would have to go all the way around the menu before I get to it. Next up was Gail's Choice, and she picked the hunk of burning love i know it is uh it's originally the uh cowfish is le officially left the building it's a play off of the elvis presley sandwich where he like peanut butter and banana now it's a full pound beef burger creamy peanut butter fried bananas applewood bacon on a brioche bun but she got the single version so it's the hunk of love which is only about a half pound and it's 15 dollars I tasted this. Uh, she couldn't finish it, so I got, I got a bite of everybody's anyway so I could do this review because they didn't want to do it on camera. Anyway, uh, it's very sweet. It's This time the bread works for the burger, and it's good. It's really flavorful. The burger actually contrasts against the sweetness of the peanut butter and the banana, and uh, it's it's amazing that I, I would never think I would want a peanut butter burger, but there you go. I I recommend it. Next up is Todd. Todd, my daughter's boyfriend. So anyway, he got the Texas Longhorn. It's $15, which is a beef burger with cheddar cheese, onion strings, jalapeno bacon, tangy barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, brioche bun. Uh, he took the onions off. He actually had them as a side, and he said that was a good thing because they were very stale, very, you know, just not very flavorful at all. I think this is the most boring of the burgers, mainly because it's a barbecue burger and there's not much extra to it. It's like there's nothing special that would separate it from a lot of barbecue burgers you'd find outside of one of the theme parks. Not that it's bad. It's just one of the more boring. It's mundane. We've seen it before. And lastly, we have my daughter. And she got the Jam in the Blues, $15. It's a burger with blue cheese, applewood, bacon, tomato, onion, jam, arugula bri on a brioche bun. Now, she got the jam on the side because, like me, she has a problem with onions. But if the onions are reduced, we're fine. So we were very cautious. We took a little, little taste. Ended up being fine. More so than that, it's really like a honey flavor. And it played so well with the blue cheese that this ended up being my second favorite burger, not the one I had. That was third. But, um, yeah, it, it and she enjoyed it, too. We, we were very surprised at how much we were going to enjoy that. And uh, my wife's, however, she got the hunk of burning love, and that ended up being the burger of the day. So if you're going to Cowfish, of the four burgers we got, that was the winner. And here's the cool thing. And, of course, at the end, I walked around, so you get a little tour of the place here. But all of us, I talked to everybody. They would love to go. It was so hard to get Gail to go to the cowfish, but once she did, she had a great time. It's good flavor. The ambiance is fine. It's very, uh, as you can see, it's, it's very kind of plainish but pleasant. It's not too loud. You could hear some music playing over us talking, but it's not intrusive as, say, the Hard Rock Cafe would be. Overall, it was, it was a nice place. And if you saw the prices, considering what you pay for the fast food, the counter service restaurants and theme parks, these burgers are not expensive at all. And I cannot see why you would even bother to go and buy a burger inside the park that's going to suck because they really do. They're, they're those frozen plank burgers when you could just take a few steps out of the park to the cowfish and actually enjoy your food. Anyway, that was our opinion on what we had. Have you gone to the cowfish? What did you think? What were the burgers you tried? By all means, let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be awesome. Recommend me something or recommend me to stay away from something. I want to get the lobster and filet mignon uh, burgushi. I missed out. I, I missed that on the menu. And, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I should have ordered that. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, click like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, also, if you don't mind, we are trying to make a living doing this, but, you know, failing badly. But if you'd <laughs> go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, helps keep the lights on, help us keep, uh, keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody for doing that. And to all the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.